met her in the fall. He took her to a movie, and when they done it all, he took her. Hello and welcome to the fabulous picture show. I'm Amanda Palmer. This week we're joined by director Mayreen Jabbar for a special screening of her film Ramjan Pakistani, which is a touching story about untouchables. Based on actual events, it's about a father and son caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Also on the show, who's that girl? Chinese heartthrob Lian lies that girl. And that boy is stunner Zhong Ji Yi. And together they make beautiful music. But first, we've featured a lot of underground filmmakers on the Fabulous Picture Show, but for the first time now, we've got one who's underwater. And at that instant, man, I knew it was either the shark or me. Being an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker is fantastic because it gives me the opportunity of sharing with the public the hidden beauty of the underwater world, but it's also a wonderful place in which to create nightmares. For the Born Supremacy, I had to shoot a very exciting sequence where we have Matt Damon and Franco Potente. Both of those guys really did their own stunts. <gasps> if we want to do a track around two actors, instead of moving the camera, we can keep the camera still and have divers just twist Matt and Franca around. Towards the end of the film, we had a pull-out shot where we see Matt coming back away from her as if the current is just taking her away. We just pulled him on a wire, I tracked back with him, and it looked like she just drifted away. <laughs> Casino Royale, we had to shoot sequences inside a Venetian house, sinking down into the water. Under computer control, the set contained 60 people and huge bubbles could come up through the floor as the whole set then sinks down and we could even tilt it in any direction to make it look exciting. I mean, it was five million pounds just to build the set. Ridiculous money. But the effect is just wonderful. The sequence itself might last three or four minutes, but we were stuck inside this box in effect for two months. Daniel Cray going underwater, it was amazing. Nothing was easy for Daniel. He had to swim down in between all of the columns and find his way through to this tiny little lift. Eva Green was a trooper. Very difficult for her. She was in life really nervous, scared of drowning. Although there are people around her for safety, when you're not wearing a mask, you can't see that. Here we are in U Stage, and it's one of the world's largest indoor underwater studios. 20 meters by 10 meters by five meters deep. When we light it, it looks as if it can be anything. Today, we have a young guy falling in the water, and as he hits the seabed, two horrible hands can come up, grab his shackled feet, and pull him down. This shot, it's an empty frame to start with. Yeah. The feet come into shot and touch the bottom. Second shot, the hands will grab him and pull him down, and he struggles. He's kicking and trying to get the hands off. Right. The hands are going to grab you, and when they grab you, I want you to struggle, to kick and try and get away from the hands. We need to be able to talk to the actor because they're underwater. We use a very high quality underwater loudspeaker. That's the same one that they use in the tank, the NASA tank, for training the astronauts. Time is going to try and go up. You're going to extend your arm a bit to come out and grab his feet. Does that make sense to both you, Tyler? Okay. We've had a girl under the set looking at a monitor 
holding her breath so her bubbles don't come up through the seabed. And at the right moment, from a loudspeaker cue, we hear Francois saying, and action tier. And her hands come up through the seabed, find the little boy's chain, and then pulls him down to the seabed. Touch your feet, the tips of your feet, that's it. That's good. Fantastic. Very good. Tyler, that's excellent. We have to make it look dangerous, exciting and real. All of these things sound very easy and are very quickly written down. Trying to make it look realistic is our challenge. OK, are you all set? We're shooting this, everyone. Three, two, one, action! Very nice, Tyler. Excellent. You're trying to feel the ground. Action here. Let him go a bit. Let him go up a bit. Now put him down. Cut. Very good, guys. That was very, very good. Tyler, that was very, very nice. Really good. Well done. In the end, the effort is going into all of it, and it's all cut and gone in 15 seconds, but it's going to look fantastic. Yeah, we're out. <laughs> Only one Chinese filmmaker has ever won the Cannes Film Festival's top prize, the Palm Door. And now that man, director Chen Kaiger, well, he's teamed up with two of China's most famous names for another Sino Spectacular. <laughs> Forever Enthralled follows the life of Mei Lanfeng, China's most revered female impersonator. <laughs> he wowed 1930s America and became a national hero when he refused to sing for the Japanese occupiers in wartime China. <laughs> Lang Fong's wife is played by Chen Hong, and Chinese pop star Leon Lai is Lang Fong. You're very used to being the romantic lead, and now you are beautiful on film. You look great in makeup. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, I see. My director, he chose me because uh, he said to me, because I, had, I, I have experience, because I'm a singer. I know how to communicate with my audience. In China, Leon lies a superstar, as was Lang Fong, who was said to be loved by all the nation. But he had a secret. We don't see the love affair which almost destroys your marriage in this film. I'm wondering why. Was that to protect your character's honor? No, it was to give face to the real family and his son, who is still alive, so we couldn't talk too much about his father's extramarital affair. The other woman, Meng, is played by China's biggest global star, Zhang Ziyi. Meng and Lang Fong performed together. She was a famous male impersonator. But according to the film, Meng was forced to end their affair to save his career. Actually, in real life, they get married. You found her? Yeah. That's an amazing love story. I would like to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> More interesting. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, Maybe. I didn't see it. <laughs> I begged this director, I said, let's make a movie about her. And so Leo can be the, uh, you know, sporting, you know, to our movie. <laughs> and, and they all great. <laughs> this is a good idea. It is a beautiful film. The story you tell is beautiful, but it's just not necessarily historically right. right. You're right. I do have a right to tell the truth to the public, to my audience, but I couldn't. Because the May's only son, he's been very supportive. This is a dilemma, this is a hard decision to make. Whether I want to show, you know, the reality of the history or just to try to save a face for him, you know. Uh, he loved his mother, you know, I understand. Director Chen Kiger was once regarded as a dissident. His award-winning masterpiece, Farewell My Concubine, featured a gay opera singer 
who challenges the system. Uh, Fifteen years ago, I just uh, believed that I need to be very strong. So that's why I create, you know, the, the character like Leslie Chung's party in Farewell, my concubine. But now, you know, what I was doing was to show a very different personality, you know, to our audience. His Langfang character is far less threatening to Chinese authorities, to whom Qin is now being accused of pandering. I was inspired by a very small idea, you know, that uh, uh, of, of uh, paper yolk. Particularly when you become celebrity, the paper yolk is become even bigger. You are watched by the public, you know, by the press and so on. So you have to behave well. Otherwise, you know, you can be attacked immediately. This is what I felt, you know, this is... A... And it's what you've experienced. I mean, your first, your film... Oh, yes. Couldn't be shown in, in mainland China to this day, could That's it? I true. mean, you have had your own struggles. I can see your little paper yoke that you're talking about. Yes, in many yes, ways. yes. Or Chen might just be having it both ways, enjoying the perks of state sponsorship while portraying himself as a suppressed dissident. But Zhong Ji, with a major Hollywood career, appears to be yoke free. I want to see that film that you're going to make, okay? <laughs> Sequel. Yeah, let's do it. It's another fair. Thank you. <laughs>it is, and uh, this film is based on a true story about a family which is Hindu and it belongs to the untouchable caste from Pakistan and that's why we have decided to keep the story as real as possible. And it's the most gorgeous little boy who plays the main part. You have to see him in part two. He met her in the fall.